Hey Curtis, this is Bryce with Little Big Marketing. I believe you spoke with my colleague Mark about creating an SEO attack plan and uh, just explaining how um, big of an opportunity there is for architects in uh, the Southern California area, specifically San Francisco, all the way down to Los Angeles. So first off, I wanted to say you guys' website looks awesome. I really like all the images you have, super high quality um, as far as the looks and design goes. Uh, as far as SEO goes, though, there is a little bit more to be desired. Um, the main thing that this website is lacking is a lot of content. Um, kind of how Google works, there's a lot of different ranking factors uh, in how they decide who gets to rank on the top of Google search. But the number one thing that you definitely have to have is the keywords and the actual content of the website. So, for example, if you want to be ranking for Luxury Architects Los Angeles or Architect company in san francisco or any of those other phrases you want to have those actual words and phrases inside of the website content ideally in the header saved as the image uh, names as well as all throughout the other website uh, in different articles blogs etc so we can take a look right now at what your website is currently ranking for um, and see how much traffic there is and uh, where that traffic is coming from. So right now it's showing that your rankings have gone down a little bit from the past, but it's estimating to have around 580 traffic per month, which isn't bad. That's pretty good. Um, and we can look at exactly what keywords that traffic's coming from. So you have a lot of brand awareness. So people are searching for uh, cloth architecture. At least this uh, software thinks that there is a lot of brand awareness, which is your, what your most of your traffic is coming from. Aside from that, it looks like glass wall home. Most of the keywords that you're ranking for is for the glass wall house page. Um, let's take a look at that page. <clears throat> Project glass wall house. So this one does have some content on it. And it looks like there's not very much competition for those keywords. If you see this column right here, this uh, green one, it's how competitive that keyword is. So you notice this one gets searched 200 times every single month and has zero competition, which is why you guys are ranking so well for those phrases. Uh, but the type of keywords you really want to target when you're doing SEO is the buyer intent keywords. So things that people are searching for when they want to hire your firm or your services. That's what you really want. So for example, if we search architect company in San Francisco and we open up uh, the number one ranking person and we put them in the same exact tool. <clears throat> Let's actually look at just the one page. This is their whole website. They're getting 332,000 traffic, but we only care about that page, this one page. <clears throat> Let's see how many times they say the word architect on this page. They say it 118 times. Wow. So I assume they're going to be ranking pretty well for architect related keywords. <clears throat> Excuse me, just recovering over a cold. So this one page that they have is getting over 600 traffic per month, which is a little bit more than your full website is getting. Uh, so these are some of the keywords that they're ranking for. San Francisco Architecture Firms gets searched 400 times every single month. It's got a keyword difficulty of five, which is pretty low. It means that you could easily uh, outcompete and take over this rankings if you try to invest in SEO in the long term. Uh, architecture firm San Francisco, slightly different, gets searched 450 times every month. These are really high search volume for pretty low competition. So this is a good sign that it's a good market to be in for SEO. Um, so yeah, I would suggest usually when we do SEO, we go through and we research all the competitors. We try to find the best buyer intent keywords that have high search volume, low keyword difficulty, and then we create content and put that content on the website building different pages that we want to rank or articles or blogs um, in Google. Then after we got all of the content on the website that we do what we call on-page SEO, which is making sure that the structure of the website makes sense, linking it together, making sure that the keywords are in the, the headings, um, all the images are saved properly with keywords as well. We also want to make sure that the website loads quickly. That's something else that uh, your website isn't doing super well on right now is it has a pretty low load time, especially on mobile, so um, which can prevent 
people from actually clicking on it. They'll click off the website because they're impatient and also Google won't rank, rank it as well. There's also something called schema markup, which we don't want to get too much into today, but it's the code behind the website that tells Google what your website is about, which you guys don't have right now either. So uh, usually the first month, that's what we do, is we, we go over the website, do all the on-page SEO, add the code, make sure it loads quickly, add a lot of content, and then we start something called off-page SEO, which is backlink building. Uh, and your website currently does have some backlinks. It looks like somebody has been doing some SEO in the past on your site, uh, which is great that you have a foundation. It will make it a lot faster to be able to rank for more competitive keywords. You have over 5,000 um, backlinks on your site. If you don't know what a backlink is, uh, to put simply, it's another website that is talking about or writing about your site. So, for example, uh, these are really common uh, backlinks. They're called citations or directory listings. <laughs> Uh, these are all the ones that they suggest for architects, um, house, porch, build zoom, you know, anything related to your industry that you can list your company information, your name, address, phone number, your little bit about your business, your logo, upload all that information to. It's called a citation. And usually we try to get, you know, three to 500 citations in the first month of SEO because then it tells Google that your brand is big, that, uh, you're a serious company, you're in all of these different directories, all these different websites are talking about you. They all have your business listed there, and so it will actually help rank your Google Maps listing, which is this one, in Google search results, and it can help rank your website because of the backlinks. There's other types of backlinks as well, and usually how we do it is we go through all of the competition, we look at whoever's ranking number one and what backlinks they have, and then we try to copy those exact backlinks and get them to point to your website as well. So. This is a good example one, news websites, press releases are a great um, type of backlink that we try to get every single month for our clients, as well as blog comments, um, PPNs, different guest posts. There's all sorts of different strategies we have for creating backlinks uh, that we do every single month to make your website seem like more of an authoritative in Google's eyes and rank higher for all the keywords that you're indexed for. Aside from ranking the website, um, we also in our SEO package, rank your Google business listing. Uh, I noticed that a lot of architects in your area aren't really pushing the Google business listing that much, which I think is a shame because there's a lot of traffic and a lot of leads that could come from that. Um, so right now, this is your listing. You have only three reviews, it looks like, four star rating. Um, there's a couple different things that you could do to rank your website and your GMB more. For example, adding photos consistently. I'm sure you guys have lots more photos. Adding those, you know, one to two every single week. Doing something called GMB posting. It's kind of like a social media post. Um, adding, getting more reviews, soliciting reviews from your past clients. Uh, getting your business in all these different citations. All of those different things can help you rank in what we call the three pack. These are the three business listings. Um, usually it's at the very top of the of Google search after the ads. If there's an ad, it'll be right here. And then three pack right after that is the uh, organic websites. So those are the two uh, really big sources of leads for all, all of our clients. Getting ranked here generates a lot of calls and ranked in the actual organic section. And it looks like this isn't super competitive. These guys only have 38 reviews. That's not a ton. Um, so we could easily kick out some of these guys in the San Francisco area with your Google business listing and our SEO package. Um, I'm, let me know if you have any other questions about SEO. I'm excited to work with you guys and uh, hopefully create a good plan on being able to dominate your area and hopefully even um, go further into the South of Southern California as well, like Mark was saying. Thanks, have a good day.